Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Carl. Yo, I'm Gary Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Gary. We are here to teach you how to prove a problem by using mathematical inductions. In mathematical inductions, there are four steps. Teacher, first, is Gary. Second, induction hypothesis. Third, proof of induction. And lastly, the conclusion. So for our first step is to prove that the series is true for n equals 1. And for this step is called verification. For our example, we need to prove that 2 cubed plus 4 cubed plus 6 cubed all the way to the quantity of 2n cubed equals to 2n squared multiplied to the quantity of n plus 1 squared using the mathematical induction. And now for our first step, according to the rule, we need to prove or to verify that these that this that this equation is true and when we replace the side of the equation with one is to be equal to the side of the equation when we replace n to one and to do that and to do that we'll have this equation replacing all the n to one and we'll have this to the quantity of two times one cubed equals to two times one squared multiplied by the quantity of one plus one and to simplify this, this side of the equation, and we'll have 2 cubed equals to 2 times 1, 2 times 2 squared. And, and to simplify it, that 2 times 1 to 2, and 2 squared is to 4. And to simplify, 2 times 4. Therefore, from step 1, we're able to prove that n is equal to 1 because our equation is true for this particular equation. Reminder, you can verify as long as you want for you to make sure that the series is Verify it accurately, we will substitute n equals to 2 to all the n's to this problem. So, this one. The quantity of 2 times 1 q plus this and is we will, we will replace 2 to this n so plus the quantity of 2 times 2 cubed equals to 2 times 2 squared times to the quantity of 2 plus 1 squared and the 3 squared is equals to 9 now we will simplify it to 8 plus 64 is equals to 72 and equals to 8 times 9 is 7 is equal to 72 and for this equation we verify it accurately because 72 is equal to 72 and therefore we are able to prove that n is equal to now let's move on to the induction called the induction hypothesis for the induction hypothesis Let's assume that n is equal to k is true for 2 cubed plus 4 cubed plus 6 cubed all the way to the quantity of 2k raised to 3 is equal to 2k squared times the quantity of k plus 1 raised to 2. Proof of induction. There are two processes under the proof of induction, which is adding the next term. We will first add the next term. We will prove the equation form in the induction hypothesis which is 2k squared multiplied by the quantity of k plus 1 squared. And then add the next term of this series, which is 2k cubed. Then, we will perform and expand this. Since we could not multiply 2k squared with the quantity of k plus 1 squared, we will first perform this using the FOIL method. For this part, we should use the Pascal triangle.
That's how we got 8K cubed plus 24K squared plus 24K plus 8. And then add the like terms. That's how we came up with this answer. For the next process, we should just substitute all the K terms here by K plus 1. And you will not derive in this. Where is all the K here is substituted to K plus 1. And we should expand this by using Deriving 2k4 plus 8k cubed plus 8k squared plus 4k cubed plus 16k squared plus 16k plus 2k squared plus 8k plus 8. And we can simplify this by adding the like terms and all and deriving this. See, the two derived values in adding the next term and substituting k are equal, which now can lead to the fourth step, which is the part. We have now proven the statement. 2 cubed plus 4 cubed plus 6 cubed plus the quantity of 2n cubed equals 2n squared times the quantity of n plus 1 squared is true. And that will be all for our video. We hope that this video will help you improve your math This is Treasure Channel and keep the like button. Thank you for watching. Bye!